believe is not a one-time pass event belief. Well, if you go, if you actually go back two verses, it describes the belief because it says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him, that's a substance of a participle, not a continuous ongoing action. It's just a verbal noun. So it's a one-time look at the serpent on the cross or a serpent on the pole, Jesus on the cross, for the for your sins, right? And if you believe in that, you'll have everlasting life. You'll, you'll never die. Um, it's not a continuous ongoing thing. And I mean, I could just prove that from other passages, but that, that's not the focus right now. Okay. Um, okay. I really didn't want to go to it. If you're just going to keep making false claims about languages, right? Um, early church, early Christian quotes, whatever. Um, you should at least study how it works. So a participle is a part of a speech and it doesn't necessarily act as a verb. It now it uses verbs, but it doesn't necessarily act as a verb. And if you have an articular participle, which is a participle with an article, it actually removes its verbal aspect. And so it becomes a noun. So that's that's how the language works. And so therefore, whoever believes, pas apostuan or whoever believes in English, just becomes the believer, the believing one. And it's, it's taking a snapshot at the point that a person believes in Christ. It's a gnomic principle, right? So just, you can't say it's a present tense participle. But yeah, it's a participle. It's it's a noun. It's acting as a noun in the sentence. The actual verb in the sentence is have or should not perish. So I, I don't, I really don't like when people just make up claims about languages. 